Well, one of my viewers also said they used peas and was able to get them. I didn't bring peas with me. I wouldn't have believed I needed them. Well, let's see if there's any in the shop, because I might give it a shot, shot and nothing else. Eh, it's not looking like... Not looking like they have peas here. Well, I'm not going all the way back to the main map and get charged again, so we're just going to have to tough it out with what we have. We're coming out of the peak now, and that is bad for Tembiqui. We're going to have to fast forward time. So let's go over here to the Tembiqui spot. And we are going to fast forward time. I have not night fished for them, so I'm not so sure that's the best time to do it. Now, before we do anything, let's make sure that we have our gear right, because I'm not wasting even a second, because we don't have the time to waste. Okay, we've got... yeah, see? That's what I was afraid of. We don't have the right baits on here, so... I'm gonna go with a four out. I think that's what I had by this time. Four out. Actually, I might go three out. And. I've been told Kamu Kamu, I've been told that doesn't even say have it on there. I haven't tried the Marish palm fruit. Might try that. They definitely go for these though. And we're gonna keep it at 40 inches. No, wait a minute, wait a minute. It's 22 is what I was doing. Yeah, that's right. 22 and 22. Go ahead and put our rod pod down. And we're going to go over here and start it. And let's get this show on the road. Yeah, I really wish I could remember what I used bait or lure was that I caught that Tembiqui off of. I could not believe I caught one that way. Never caught him that way. The first time I did this, I caught two right off the bat, and I thought, oh, this is going to go fairly easily. Yeah. Was I surprised. Yeah, 25 minutes is not very long. Alright, we got a bite. This is what we're after, for sure. It's 
what we are after. But it's just one. And I want to get in as soon as I can because I don't want to have another incident where I lose the fish because I'm too busy fighting it, wanting to get it in. Alright, there's the first one. Trophy Tembiqui. I have caught a unique boar, so it's actually a good shot. Might as well get a good picture here. That's a beefy, beefy fish. Alright, we're going to toss that right back out there again, hopefully. That's the second one, maybe. It is. I will take that. There's number two. Now. Last time I did this, we had a major lull. Yeah, I'm just messing around with the buzz bait. I'm hoping that maybe I might get lucky and do the same thing I did that one darn time. I was just I was trying to go up to Red Peacock, and somehow or another, I got a Tembiqui off. Now we got a bite, but that's not a Tembiqui. Let's see what we got. Red Pe probably a Peacock. Nope, Trophy of Papa. I'm going to stay here for at least 9 minutes and 51 seconds. Then I might try going over to the other spot. Because that's what one of my viewers said that they had to do. Unless I can get lucky enough and this is what I need. No. This is probably a Brycon. Or Piranha. I think this is a Brycon. Yep, you can kind of tell just by the size. Both the size and they, they go for the same baits. Keep at it. Hopefully. Alright guys, I got something big here. I think I might have pulled it off. There you go. I got it with the leprechaun buzz bait, twin tail spider grub. And I caught another Tembiqui. There's the third one. Worked. And I'm marking that too because that's actually quite a feat. <laughs> and we got another one. I think we might have our fourth one here. Maybe. I don't know. Nope. Trophy Brycon. Just a really big one. Cannot believe we got that. That was so... So cool. So, you can do it.
Yeah, I got it right over there. Just using a twitching action. Just like this. I don't know if I can pull it off again, but what I'm going to keep doing, I'm going to start here. And I'm just going to kind of fan back and forth. Alright guys, I am back. And I came over here as quickly as I could. To see if I couldn't try... Anyway, I'm trying on this side of things to see if I can't get them to bite a little bit better. I don't know if this is going to work. It may, it may be, it may not. It's hard to say. This is where I got them last time. I need to get two more. I could just get them. God bless it. See, I'm getting all worked up now. Darn time limits. It's just not enough time. 25 minutes is a ridiculous amount of time to try to get this completed. Well, I'm going to go ahead and get my buzz bait out again, and we're going to try fishing for them as well this way. It didn't work again when I was over there, but could here, you never know. And we got five minutes, unless we are super, super lucky. I just don't see this happening. But... Alright, first one. It is one. Okay, this is one. We've got it. We gotta get one more. Usually, once you hook into them, you've got them, so. big is this one? Trophy. One more. We got four minutes to get one more Tembiqui, guys. I don't know if we can pull it off or not. We can only hope. Oh, there we go. No, not quite. Alright guys, we got another bite. I can only hope. It's it. It's it. We got one. Two minutes to spare. Two minutes to spare. Holy crap. Get in here, darn ya. Yes. We did it. Two minutes to spare. That was close. Holy crap, that was close. Man. Green Skull Challenge. I think it took me f six tries. Alright. Well, that is the last of the ch Green Skull, or the last of the Skull Challenges. Let me get all my gear here because we have, like I said, I don't know how much more time we have, but I want to at least get this one done if we can. We'll soon see just how tough this is going to be. Looks like we got another bite here. Last one to finish off. Trophy red-bellied. Good size one. 
All right. All right, that was tough, <laughs> without a doubt, that was tough. All right, let's see. So we need to go in the dead of night to find the phantom flute. So we need to get the piranha duo. Which do I need to go to first? Probably this one. Um, maybe, I'm not sure. Well, we'll go to the village first and we'll see what happens. We have to go there at night. I think. Well, let's just go there and see what happens. I think it's right over here. Isn't this the village? Wait a minute, let's check the map. We're at the village, so it must must need to be night time. Well, maybe we have to go to Phantom Fleet first. Because we're at Los Codos Village. Nothing's happening. Yep, nothing's triggering, nothing's... Let's get to the boat. <laughs> yeah, I'd hate to get messed up by technicality, though. No, this is the old barge. No, that's not it. Well, let's go ahead and jump in here, and we'll go ahead and... This will get us there pretty quick. Okay. 
Okay, there's a... Must have to be, like, right... There it is, okay. Bolivia Mystery Phantom Flute. You did a brilliant job. 13,000 cash. Pronto Dual Swim Bait. We can claim it. Now the next mission. Bolivian Mystery Vampire Piara. It is evident from the vampires from old Europe arrived on this Dutch vessel. After staying in these lands, they turned the local fish into vampires. In the dark, during evening fogs, under moonlight, when the fish are out hunting, who knows what dangers await. There's hope that the bait provided by the local fishermen will help catch many monsters. It is known that there are numerous vampire fish near the old sunken ship by the Diego Vado boat station. So vampire PR amount, three bait coins. How many of these do I have to get? Three. Now, I only know one ship, but it's not sunken. It's just kind of a wreck. Let's see. That's it. So it's further down here, so I guess that is it. Yeah, it's that barge. Which kind of surprises me. Didn't. Here, let's do this. A little bit faster to get there that way. This is what the th I think this is what they're talking about. Yep, this is it. Look at the fog. This is where they're gonna be. Well, we'll see how tough they are to get. I wonder if they're going to be jumping like the other ones. Alright, let's go ahead and put the swim bait on here. Hopefully it's not too heavy. That's the only thing I, I was a little concerned about. Okay, it's fine. Let's see how we how we do. Oh wow! I actually made <laughs> <me> jump. <laughs> it's a daggone fish, for God's sake! Oh wow! And we got one. This, my friends, is going to take a while. Yep, we are going to be here a minute. <laughs> this is no Mickey Mouse rod either. Check them out. Uh, something really weird is happening to the pole. Um, what is going on? It was doing some weird... It's still doing it. Okay, it's back to normal. That was kind of strange. It's like it was glitching out. still kind of acting a little funny, but it's still reeling it in, so I'm not... I guess it's okay. Well, guys, like I said, we are going to be doing this for a minute.
It's glitching again. I think what the problem is is the fish is actually in a part of the map that you it's inaccessible. And while it's there, it's making this act really weird. This fish likes to bolt. Several moments later. I keep getting it within 40 feet and then it just stops. I guess a good term for it. You yeah, did. Alright, we may have it this time. Come on, dang on it. Seriously. I've done this. had it within 14 feet. Finally. There it is, guys. Whoa. That is one strange looking fish. <laughs> Talk about glow in the dark. Yeah, definitely much bigger than the Biara's. 159.694 pounds, 16,498 cash, 72.8 inches. Here we go with the XP, 23,465. Let's take a look at this odd looking fish here. Wow. That is an odd looking fish. And there's some teeth. Now he actually has vampire fangs, where the other one did not. Definitely get a picture of him. Wow, that's cool. Oh, great. I have to come back the next day because my stringer is full. Can't do this all in one night. Well, that's not a big deal. Let's go ahead and go to the map. Actually, we just have to forward time to the next night. Okay, this doesn't look too good. Something happened. Oh, goodness. Yep, it's over. I think it's over. It is over. We didn't make it, guys. That was the last... That was the last event. Yep, the Halloween event is over officially as I was playing. That was probably why I was waking out. It was letting me complete it, but it wasn't letting me come back. It's over. I had two more of those to get. Well, at least you guys got to see it. That's disappointing, though. I really wanted to complete that last mission. 
But there's next year, and apparently there's quite a bit still to do. At least that's what I've been told. Yeah, I definitely was trying to focus on my time at least getting to that point. Well, literally ran the Halloween event to its very end. Oh well. Until next year, guys, we have got a whole year to prepare and see if we can't do this again. Hopefully by that time, we'll have got enough XP. Maybe we've got ourselves to the Congo by that time. That would be nice. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And we will be back with another episode of Fishing Planet. Not sure where we're going to go from here, honestly. Not sure where we're going to go. I'm going to have to figure some things out. But I think we're going to take a little hiatus from Fishing Planet for a little bit. I'm not talking about terribly long, but there are some other things I want to be doing. There's some reviews that I've got to take care of. So be on the lookout for some more reviews of some horror games I've got coming out. I also got um, Starship Troopers. They've been getting on me to get a uh, review done on that. Uh, the Starship Troopers game is a multiplayer game, but an online game, but they've got a version of the single player, and that's what I want to check out, just to see what that part's like. Anyway, guys, be on the lookout for that. But as I always say, guys, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.